day we're doing something kind of so different than we've ever done before. I think we all got attacked by bug bites. It's kind of gnarly. Cora's got a bunch on her face, but the back is the worst. Cora. <laughs> We are in the King Hill. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, what's in there? What's that? Oh, bunk beds. Two toilets. Hello, shower. Two bathrooms. Bathrooms. There you go. Are you happy? Hi. Hi! <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Who's gonna sleep here? I am. Oh, it's gonna be a wrestling oh, match. Oh, I, I already put my bag down. And then look, you guys. There is a wonderful place wow. to go walk through their garden. Yeah, okay? Awesome. Who wants yes. dinner? Hi. Organize your stuff and come knock on our door in 10 minutes. Okay. Alrighty. That's 10, yeah. Come on in. Holy huge! Oh my gosh! Wait, show mom the other room. Wait, there's another room! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Why it freaks her out? What the crap? Whose child is that? Who used to sleep in here? I'm not. I'm sleeping on the big bed. I'm sleeping on the big bed. I'm sleeping on the big bed. They are going to wrestle for it while we're not here so that this I can claim I didn't know. This is the biggest room we've ever seen. This is crazy. Holy crap. Here is mom and dad's room. We get no kids in here tonight, which is fantastic. Dad's gonna go to sleep right now. Madame, dinner is this way. Proper manners. This is everything I want in life. Everything I want. We find some baby coos. Look, he's itching with his, with his horn. What's these coos names? Haggis. Hamish. Hamish? Hector. Hector. Okay, bye, Haggis, Hamish, and Hector. The cutest coos you've ever seen. Welcome to Loch Ness. Crusoe! Jason and I did this hike and it was drizzling and rainy. We hiked down there, over and around, and that's the lighthouse. We went down, but the better viewpoint, I guess, is up here. Jason found out after, but I'm loving it. It's a short walk from the parking lot, and we're gonna have a nice dinner, watch the sunset, have our nice little picnic right there. You can see those tiny little specks of red, yellow, and blue. That is Cora, Evie, and Wyatt. Corche, sorry, Cora. Cora, Shea, and Wyatt. They're trying to catch the sheep. All right, we are, I'm just videoing. Look, there's Clay. Oh. Hi, Clay. Hello. While we are here in Scotland. So now I'm gonna make dinner while dad chats because we've all had a little bit of time to talk with Clay. So this is gonna be so fun. We get to have Clay here with us. Here we are, we're finding our location for our next place to stay. We are here in this fun place. This is actually someone's house. It's kind of like a hostel. So we are sleeping in this room and then this room right there. And we're playing games. It's kind of fun. This is really different. We've, we've stayed all over the country. We've stayed in hostels. We've stayed in nice hotels. We've stayed in not as nice hotels. It's been quite the adventure. This is the house. We are staying in it. And look at that view. Nice little soccer goals. Some nice sheep. Super cute. On to today's adventure. All right, so we're exploring this fun place called the Fairy Glen. And if you go check out the toy library video, you can see they, they found some actual fairies. It's really cool. Um, but last night while we were on the Neist Point, I think we all got attacked by bug bites. It's kind of gnarly. Oh, Shay's look, big Shay's one. got a big bite right here. Look at these bites, these little bites all around the sides. Ah. Wyatt's got a few on his head. These are bug bites all on his ear. But look, wait, wait, look at Cora. Cora's got a bunch on her face. Oh, poor Cora, she's been itching. Some on her neck, but the back is the worst. Cora hits so many. Oh my gosh, she totally got attacked by bugs. We're exploring the Glen. Can you see Dad way over there? Let's take a picture. How many Bennets do we see? We're hiking Key 
Thanksgiving today and just because it has the mag most magnificent views. Most magnificent And dad views. has the most amazing camera to get the views. You mean skills. Skills and camera. Skills. <laughs> we have some painters out here, which I'm so excited to see what they're painting. We're gonna go and hike over there. Is this where we're having our lunch? Right at the edge of this cliff. <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit inward. Yep. Let's hope we don't roll. This is our second picnic out on a hike. Let's hope today we don't get too many bites because yesterday was a little gnarly. Shay is afraid of heights and he's standing on the edge of the cliff for this picture. Don't fall, Shay. Why are you not feeling so good? Oh my goodness, tilt your head down. This is what we'll do. We'll go to a store and see if we can find some bug stuff, okay? Here's the man who wants to take the pictures. Nice flower. Oh, do I have a flower? In your ear? Yeah, oh. you do. Today we're doing something kind of so different than we've ever done before. We are taking our van on a ferry across the way and we're going down to another place. So our whole van's gonna go. This is so cool. I got me the tickets. All right. Are you ready to ride the ferry? Yes. Are you guys ready? Yay. So tired. I mean, we are up at 6 a.m. to get out here. So here's the tickets, honey, and let's do this. Parked our car in the ferry and let's go. You ready to go? Are here waiting for the Harry Potter steam train to come on the viaduct at Glen Finnan. Taking our pictures. Dad's doing his magic work. That was so intense. We were running all over the place. Raquel had her phone up there. I wish there was a camera on Dad. Dad I will die for you, Riley. I will die for you. Dad was running back to the fence where he was trying to get a slow-mo on his phone, back to the spot to get a camera, a picture of us, and then we were running all over the place to get individual shots. Mom was freaking me. I was. Go, 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 go. But look at this amazingness. We just explored all over Sky, and now we are going to a very nice restaurant, so we have to get fancy dressed. Dad and I went there last year, and people were wearing sports coats and, like, super nice. I felt underdressed, which I might feel the same because I only have jeans, but we'll see. Yes, I think you look very handsome. Very nice. Wyatt's gonna shower. Cora, poor Cora has so many bug bites still. All right, Raquel is wearing her brown pants and I gave her this shirt. So cute, Stand So back. I'm gonna wear this. Uh-huh. It's gonna tie final what you said you felt underdressed last time. So I do have that blue sweater that makes me look like a prep kid. Love it. Let's wear the prep kid sweater. We'll go change. Oh yeah, much better. It looks so cute. Don't worry, your itchy bites will go away. You gotta stop scratching, okay? All right, we're on our way to our fancy dinner. Woo this is Woo Dad and I's favorite place that we came to Scotland last year. It was such amazing food. And it is far out here on the wee road. It is on the wee road. <laughs> So nice. What do you guys think? So pretty. Right? <laughs> so pretty. Alright, while we're waiting for dinner, we're playing a not question game, but a game where we get to answer questions. It's just kind of like getting to know each other better. And we've just asked, and I want to hear everyone's answers. If you could be any age, what would it be? And I want you guys to comment down below too. I think I'd like to be 60 or 70. 60 or 70. Why? Because people would respect you and you can do really weird stuff. And people would think, oh, that's just the old grandpa. And people also <laughs> think you're really wise. Okay. Dad? 21. 
Why 21? Or 21, yeah, that's okay. it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I can go do anything before I had kids and I have to take their pictures all day. I'm just kidding. Okay, right Dad's Kel. the one that's like, I can't let go stand on that rock all the way over there. <laughs> what age right Kel for you? 27. Mm. Because I feel like it's the prime age where you can like, your body's in a really good shape. Is it now? For me. <laughs> Not even 27. <laughs> hey. Why? Oh, come on. Why 22? Oh, you need 22. Want to be 22. Because why? What happens I at 22? I can get a cat if I want to. She can get a cat if she I wants to. Ask my parents. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Red cow that spit her water out. That's amazing. It came out of her nose. <laughs> and what? I can apply for any job. Any job, okay. I'm gonna be 21. Why? She's still, she's still dying here. So I can get my own house and then build Legoland. Wow. Geocache where we want. Okay, Cora, what age would you be? I don't know. Probably 20. She's like, oh. I need Why? Oh. Or like 17, because then everyone's <coughs> gone and it's just me, mom, and dad, and we can just. Do stuff together. Oh, you just want to hang at home. Do you notice how everybody wants to be alone in our family? <laughs> so I can buy a house and do whatever I want. So I can get paid <laughs> whatever I want. And me, I'm like, so I can be younger and, and do whatever I want. I want to be 32 because at that point I was done having the kids. And I feel like our relationship was in a really good place. Is it not now? No, 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 like we finally got to the like the good place. But now my body, now my body hurts, so I don't like 40. I like 32, it was, it was a good, it was a good couple years for us. Mm -hmm. And it's still good. My body was just better back then, so, better. I think it's so amazing, man. <laughs> Is it yummy? Dinner, the fancy dinner has home. arrived. Oh, look at that. It's, it's fogging up my thing. Mm. What do you think? Uh, that was actually me fogging up your life. It is. Shay, the best burger you've ever had. Oh, that looks lovely. You know it's a good dinner when it's so quiet. Everyone's eating their yummy food.